Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Fired Up Friday. Um, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I hope it's not too far off course, but it's kind of what I have to do this week. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Okay guys and gals, I know this isn't going to be the regular video, but under the circumstances, uh, we are under a pretty strict no fire fire ban and it's really windy again today so um i think i saw that there's something like 12 fires burning uh not per se in my immediate area but in northwestern or northeastern ontario here so um i thought rather than risk it um I mean, I'm pretty safe in the backyard and I'm not building a big fire, but irregardless, um, just mining the fire ban. Thought I would try something a little different for this Fired Up Friday. And that was, I found this candle and we're gonna burn this candle throughout the video um, and do this candle burn. Uh, for those that are being affected by the wildfires or by the fires. And for those that are fighting the fires. Both previous fires and future fires. Because unfortunately, it's barely spring and we're already getting forest fires. So, um, so we're going to burn this candle while we do this. And, uh, and that's how it's going to be for this video. So, um... My first shout out is Hoosier Hunter. He's got a great channel. Um, does a lot of coyote hunting, beaver hunting, um, reviews, gear reviews, um, and, and all just all stuff outdoors. And uh, just not too long ago, he hit 10K, I believe, which is an amazing accomplishment. Um, and I wish him the best of luck in the future. So, um, please give Hoosier Hunter a follow if you haven't already. Uh, you definitely won't be disappointed. My next shout out for the video is GBL, the Old Church Five Acre Homestead. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but he's got a great channel. And uh, he does, like the name implies, a lot of homesteading stuff. You'll learn a lot with gardening and uh, homestead repairs and improvements and all kinds of stuff so and he also does fired up Fridays so check them out um, the next one is far north guy he is another Canuck out of the west I believe he's in Saskatchewan and he's got an awesome channel uh, does a lot of duck hunting does a lot of grouse hunting and uh, just just a cool guy with some good recipes. Um, he just got a puppy that he's training, so uh, there's that to look forward to as well. So check out Far North Guy. Um, my next one is Saskatchewan Fisher. Man, this guy's a friggin' riot. And he's another Canuck out of Saskatchewan. And uh, you'll love his stuff, trust me. He does reviews and challenges and fishing trips and kayak fishing and man he's just a freaking hoot he's just high energy 24 7 man you'll you'll dig his channel so check out saskatchewan fisher my next one is is kind of a cool one it's another homesteading channel and he's actually from australia so um please head over and check out o'donnell's aussie homestead He's got rabbits and goats and he's got a deer and he's got, uh, it's just chickens and geese and you name it, he's got it. And he does all the, you know, all the homesteading stuff with a little bit of a, a different perspective because of the climates that he's growing things in and producing things in. So it's, it's really cool to check out that channel. Um, so again, that's O'Donnell's Aussie Homestead. Um, the next one is Slayer Mike Fishing and More. Mike and I have been following each other for a long time. 
he uh, he does a lot of river fishing for trout. Um, I think he did try bass fishing a few times, um, but mainly he f he fishes for trout with his own homemade spinners, which I believe you can purchase if you want to if you want some of the spinners that he uses on his channel. So check out Slayer Mike Fishing and More, and then consider getting some of his spinners. They work great. So, and my last shout out of the evening is going to be Bravestone Hikes. We are fairly new to each other, uh, but she has a really cool channel, obviously hiking, overnighting, that sort of stuff. Um, so check out Brave Stone Hikes and, uh, and show her some support. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got for you for this episode. I know it was a little different than, uh, you know, than breaking out the ferro rods, but I thought, you know, with the fire ban and, you know, the importance of what's happening, I think it's important to recognize that the uh, the brave men and women that are fighting these fires and to be thinking about the families that are being affected by these fires. So anyway, with that being said, remember, it's never a bad day to be more outdoors.